That's it. You're all done. What did you do to my hair? What's wrong? I did it the way you asked. It's way too short. You chopped all my hair off. But you told me you wanted me to cut two inches. I said two inches, not two feet. What are you, blind? Well, I do have a vision problem, but I worked through it, and it's not affecting me now. Well, you messed with the wrong hair. My mom owns this place. Ingrid? That's right. And when she finds out, she's going to fire you. Wait, 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 wait. Don't do that. I can explain. Save your explaining for the unemployment lady. I got to go change before my mom gets here. You got hair in my sweater. Ingrid, it's Susan at the salon. What is it? We have a situation with Vicky. Can you come down? What is it, Vicky? Mom, you have a big problem. I have a problem? And what is that? You need new stylists. I did a better job when I was little. On my dolls. There's nothing wrong with our stylists. Yeah, there is. They rush through things and they're lazy. These people work hard. What would you know about work? Everything. I know a lot of people who work. The problem with you is that you're spoiled. You've never worked a day in your life. I don't have to. You have money. You're rich. You should know better than that. I'm not rich. As long as you have room on your credit cards, rich enough for me. No, I worked my way up the ladder to start my own business. And that's why you're a good influence. I know what it's like to have money. I started at the bottom as a salon assistant. What? Sweeping the floors and shampooing gross, stinky hair? What's wrong with that? Do you think these floors clean themselves? Do I think the floors clean themselves? No, that's what workers are for. Maybe you should do some of that work. That's for the little people, not me. Well, it is now. Mom, what's that supposed to mean? I'm cutting you off. No more allowance, no more credit cards, and no more cell phones. I can't live without those things, especially the phone. You spend too much time on all that. From now on, you have to earn your own money. My own money? How am I supposed to do that? You need to make enough money to pay off your cell phone bill and your credit card. You want me to pay for that? Then what? Only then you can have your phone back. Then I can have my phone. Well, what about a credit card? Hmm? How am I supposed to buy anything? I'll tell you what. I'm going to give you a debit card instead. A debit card instead of a credit card? What's that supposed to do? It will have the exact amount of your allowance on it and not a penny more. Oh, great. Now I have to work to pay off the credit card and the phone just to get back what I already have right now. And where am I supposed to work anyway? Right here in this salon, just like I did. Fine. I'm probably a better stylist than any of these people anyway. You're not going to be a stylist. You're going to be an assistant. An assistant? Doing the dirty jobs? I'm not going to do that. Fine. You don't have to. You can stay home instead. Good, it's more like it. We can just forget this whole conversation. But remember, no phone, no allowance, no credit cards. None? Fine, work as the salon assistant. And how long do I have to do that again? Only until your debt is paid off. $4,100. $4,100? That's not a lot of money. Should be easy. We'll see. Report here tomorrow at 9 o'clock on the dot. 9 o'clock? I don't even get up before then. Vicky's mom is tired of her attitude and is making her get a job at the salon. How long will she last? Hello, I'm here, ready for work. Oh, you must be Vicky. Who are you? I'm Susan. I manage the salon. Oh, you must work for my mom. We all do. Are you ready to get started? 
That's why I'm here at this ridiculous hour. Well, since it's already 9.40, we better make up for lost time. Lost time? I don't even see any customers yet. Well, that's because we don't open till 10. So you better get busy and start cleaning this place. Clean this place? <laughs> I don't even clean my room. I don't know what you do at home, but here we have to maintain a certain look. So let's start with the floors. Ugh, the floors? I don't like this job already. Susan, there you are. Jennifer, we're a little overbooked today. Can you take another client at two? Another client? I was coming to ask you for help. Can't. We've already had to cancel some of Taylor's appointments because of her eye. It's just that I have two clients waiting. Do we have a washer? Well, not really, since Caitlin left. But we do have that new girl, Vicky. Works for me, send her over. <laughs> hey, Vicky, how's it going? I don't know. Shampooing's a lot more fun than cleaning the floors. <laughs> Vicky, ever thought of becoming a stylist? I don't know. Seems kind of scary. <laughs> Maybe so at first, but it's not that bad. You just have to have vision. <laughs> I have vision. I can be very creative. I'm sure you are. Oh. What's wrong? Uh, nothing. Sorry, I, I got caught off guard. Are your eyes bothering you again? Uh, yeah, they are. Uh, do you mind if Vicky finishes you? Yeah, I can do it. Okay. Jennifer, we have a problem. What is it, Susan? It's Taylor. She can't come in today. Really? Is she not feeling well? I think she feels fine, but it's her eyes. I think she's having another episode. Oh, wow, it seems like it's getting worse. Well, as you know, she only has clients for a couple of hours, but I need someone to cover. I wish I had known, but I can't. Well, I don't know what else to do but cancel. You can't do that. She'll lose her client base. Well, you know I'd take them myself, but I'm already committed. What about that new girl, Vicky? Vicky? She's not a stylist. She's been working with all of Taylor's clients and they seem to really like her. Well, that's fine and all, but can she do hair? Well, I wasn't supposed to tell you, but Taylor's already been having her do that for her. Really? <laughs> Why am I the last to find out? <laughs> Taylor can't come to work because of her eyes. And now is Vicky's chance to become a stylist herself. How will she do? Vicky, are you ready to move up from assistant? Really? Does this mean oh, I couldn't be? It is. Oh, yes. All right, stylists, I have your paychecks for you. That one's yours. Gotta tell ya, this really feels good. Congratulations, Vicky. You've really been working hard. I know, the more I style, the more money I make. Well, I hope we're not working you too hard. No way! I can't wait to do more. You know what, Vicky? I think we should go celebrate your first paycheck. So I've been working there three months now and the money's really good. It's been great, except one thing. Oh really? What's that? I need to find a way to repay Taylor. Taylor? Isn't she the one that was so helpful to you? Mickey, I just want to let you know this is your last paycheck. Last paycheck? Are you firing me? No, 
I'm glad to say that you've earned enough to pay off your credit card bill. Wow, that's great! Oh, this feels like such an accomplishment! And true to my word, here's your phone back. And a new credit card! Wow! I have my own credit card now? I think you've demonstrated that you're a responsible person. And I hope you put this final paycheck to good use. Final? Does this mean I don't have a job anymore? No. I thought you only wanted to work long enough to pay your debt and get your phone back. Vicky's debt is all paid off with her mom. Will she want to keep working at the salon? It's just that I like working here and making money. Really? That's right. It makes me feel productive and it kind of gives me some purpose in my life. Does that mean you want to keep your job here? Yes. And with your permission, there's one more thing that I'd like to do. What is it, Vicky? You know Taylor who works here, right? Of course I do. She's been with us for a long time. Well, did you know that she has a problem with her eyes? Yes. Unfortunately, that's why she's only here part time. I know. I can't believe she can only work a couple hours a day because of her vision. That's right. Well, I did some research online. Do you remember Dr. Hanstead? Of course I do. He did your LASIK back in high school. You know, not having to wear contacts or glasses really has changed my life forever. I'm just glad that you were finally able to do sports after you had it. I know how important that is to you. Well, I called them, and it turns out she's gotten astigmatism. Well, I didn't know that. Well, the great news is, they can now fix that. Oh, that's great to hear, but what does that have to do with you? Well, it's just that she can't afford it. She's not working enough. And it's $7,800. $7,800? That's a lot. Well, that's what I wanted to ask. Can I save up the money working here to pay for it? We can do better than that. I'll split the cost with you. You will? And you can put your half on your new credit card. That means she can have it now. Are you sure? Yes. I'm proud of you for making such a decision. I can't wait to go tell her. And I'm also proud of what you've become. Thanks, Mom. Vicky decided to help Taylor overcome her eye difficulty by paying for her procedure. Will Vicky go back to her old ways, or is this change permanent? We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, help spread the word.